way back when the Force Awakens, the year the Force Awakens was coming out, um, there was Force Friday in September, and they were. It was that time when they were releasing the new Star Wars toys, and I was really excited because I was hoping that they would release the new um, Leia and Han and Luke Skywalker from The Force Awakens. That's the main reason why I was going to The Force Friday. So I get there and go to Force Friday, the midnight the midnight um, thing, and get in there and I'm looking for Luke, Han, and Leia, and there's no Luke, Han, and Leia. So that was very disappointing. So the weeks go by and I keep looking or I go, I'd go to the store, I go to Target, I go to whatever store, and I try to find a Han, a Luke, or Leia from The Force Awakens. Because I kind of, you know, it's kind of like completing the collection of all the characters, classic characters. Nothing, nothing happens. So months and months go by, and then they finally release Han Solo. And I have Han Solo right here. So they finally released Han Solo, and I, and I was really excited to get Han Solo because it's the current character in The Force Awakens. So now you have all the different variations of Han Solo, the action figure, from each movie, from Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, and The Force Awakens. I was really excited about this. Seeing this, I thought, oh, okay, so they're going to release a Princess Leia, they're going to release a Luke. Months go by and nothing. Uh, there's nothing. There's no Luke. There's no Leia. I do believe that they came out with a Black Series Luke, the larger figures. Uh, so I kept looking for either there was either a Luke or a Leia. Um, still, I couldn't find anything. Um, so I, I kind of just waited. And, you know, once in a while I'd look. I still wouldn't see anything. And then it happened. Carrie Fisher passed away. And the Star Wars fans, the fanboys, they were just, they were crazy about it. They were posting a lot of pictures and a lot of tributes to Carrie Fisher. And on these pages, they're, they're, they're collectors groups. And on Facebook, the Star Wars collectors groups, the different kinds that I've subscribed to, I see a lot of their tributes and a lot of the different figures. And I kept noticing a General Leia. Um, it was a figure where she's in the gown, the blue gown. And for, for, for the longest time, I just ignored it because a lot of the pictures had the box. It was the Black Series Leia Organa. And it said Princess Leia Organa, Black Series. I don't want that one. I want the these size figures that I have here. And I, you know, I'd look through these pictures and they were very nice and very touching. And then I happened upon one that showed the Black Series Leia with one of these types of star stands. And she was standing next to these size figures and it caught my attention. I said, wait, do they actually have a, a smaller size Leia Organa from The Force Awakens. So I checked eBay, and sure enough, they do. It's a Black Series, like, you know, the Black Series 3.75 inch figures. And I was completely unaware of that because I was looking for when I was, you know, I was expecting it to look like this. I was looking for this. This is what I was looking for when I was looking for the Leia Organa from The Force Awakens. So when the Black Series came up, I was just, you know, I was just ignoring that. I didn't want Black Series. I wanted these. And sure enough, they actually did come out with a Leia this size from The Force Awakens, but in the Black Series box. I wanted it. It was something that I'd been looking for since 2015. And I decided to just go ahead and purchase it on eBay. And of course, because of the passing of Carrie Fisher, the the figures, the prices of the figures were going up. And that was really, that was terrible. So I went ahead and purchased it. And I got it. And here it is. The packaging that it came in for my Leia figure. I'm going to go ahead and open it. So this is stuffed open. I guess I got to use 
scissors. Oh, here we go. Just tear it open. Oh, okay. That's excellent. Nice. Tra oh, and it's tracked, secured. Very good. Insured. Okay. So go ahead and open this. So the box is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. It just fits inside this. And there she is. So yeah, I think it's pretty interesting that they have a a black two different types of black series figures. They have this kind which is the smaller figures. And then they have the larger type of black series, which has more accessories, as you can see here, and I suppose more detail in the figures. But I, I'm assuming that since it's black series, that it's supposed to be better detail and better quality. I don't know. I just don't know why they have two, two types of black series. It's just... I just think it's a bit silly because I'm, you know, for these size figures, I was expecting it to be in this kind of packaging. And I'm just wondering, you know, is the quality better? Or, well, I guess, I guess it is when you look at it because it looks like she has more articulation than the other figures, the other, the other Force Awakening, because he only has five points of articulation. And this one obviously has more when you look at it. Um, so let's see. Let's go ahead and take Princess Leia Organa out of the box. Now, the thing that confuses me is why are they calling her Princess Leia Organa? Isn't she a general in The Force Awakens? And she's no longer a princess? Um, I don't know. Uh, it's just very confusing. Um, also, I wish they had done, this is the only figure that I've seen from The Force Awakens with Leia. And I was hoping that they would have ha created a figure of her in her general outfit, because that would have been cool too. And, you know, it's pretty amazing how back in the 80s when um, Kenner was creating the figures, and they were they were producing all different versions of... The action figures, you know, you have Princess Leia from Star Wars, and then when the Empire Strikes Back comes out, you have Princess Leia in her best spin outfit, Princess Leia in her Hoth outfit, and then Return of the Jedi comes out, and you have Princess Leia in her, um, in her, what is it called, the poncho, and Princess Leia in her bounty hunter disguise. You know, they just came out with all different kinds, and and now they just like one, one version of Princess Leia and or leia when she was clearly in different outfits in the movie so hopefully they'll come out with a general leia with her general gear and um and i'll totally get that one but let's go ahead and take princess leia organa out of the box it's taped closed Here's Princess Leia. And I like that, you know, even though, you know, the outer shell is plastic, there's still some cloth on the on the inside of her, her, her dress. I like how that looks. And, you know, um, and she has, she has, she bends at the elbow, which is great. Does she turn at the wrist? Doesn't look like it. Oh, yeah, she does turn at the wrist. So yeah, there's definitely a lot more articulation in these figures than the ones released for these figures. It's a 
I like it. It's got a very, very good likeness. Does her head turn? Yep, her head turns. Does do her legs move? Yep, her legs move. Oh, and her bend, her knees bend. So that's pretty cool. It's good. Good design. I'm so happy. Um, I'm happy that we finally have a Princess Leia Organa or General Organa. But this is a great looking figure and I'm so happy to have it as part of my collection. And hopefully, I'm hoping that they will come out with um, Princess Leia and her, or General Leia in her general gear. All right, time to add this to my action figure collection.